Lucas. It is September 28th, Tuesday. Uh, I got to go to Las Vegas and meet up with so many wonderful people last week, and that was just a real highlight. I'm very excited to report about that. Um, I did make a short video. There was several people that I didn't uh, catch photographs of and maybe failed to mention, and I do apologize about that, but it was a great group and lots of fun and lots of highlights, and very quickly, I'd like to go over my sessions. Um, ultimately, really bad. Um, disappointed in that. Um, that really made the highlights just uh, meeting people and being in Las Vegas and going to the dinners and um, playing along with everybody, but ultimately, my numbers were really bad. Uh, State of Flamingo, I, that's a comparable state, very center strip, very affordable, minor complaints that aren't worth mentioning. Um, my first session got up early, I saw George was playing over the Bellagio early in the morning, and uh, you know, I'm not sleeping real hard, so I get up and I uh, go over there, and I, you know, kind of found him, and he was shooting, so I stayed away and didn't interrupt his role, and uh, uh, got on the table, $500 buy-in, uh, playing 135 across, 130 across, depending on what the point is, and uh, several quick seven outs, including one of my own, and 500 bucks gone in a few minutes. But I met, um, I think Henry and Mario and Sam were there that morning, and uh, I mean, it's like 6 a.m., you know, I'm already down 500 bucks. Uh, went to Wicked Spoon, got some food, ended up catching up with everybody a little bit later, went to Harris. Uh, I bought in for 300 bucks on a $10 table, I believe, um, and I lost about 250 of that real quick. Um, I'm only shooting from the end, I didn't get any um, stick left positions or stick right positions, I'll get into that a little bit, but um, I think I bailed... Um, about 250 down and just got out of there. Literally only three rolls with like one something across, one maybe one tenant inside times three. Uh, down 250 out of there. Uh, me and G Dub and Bird Dog and Mario got into it maybe a little bit. Sam a little bit maybe. Yeah. Playing on that uh, roll to win type um, electronic game. Uh, Bird Dog liked that a lot. I went something like $40 in, lost it. $40 in, lost it. Uh, $100 in, lost it. So I'm now down $180. And I put in another $200. Bucks. So I've got $380 in. I put all $200 out across on the first roll. Um, made maybe about three or four rolls with everything up and pulled down to get my full $380 back out of there. And that was it. So I was even on this session, negative 750 for the day at this point, uh, not counting drinks and cabs and all that good stuff. Um, I'll tell you, a couple slices of pizza and a couple beers at Flamingo will run you 38 bucks. Brunch at uh, Wicked Spoon is 38 bucks. So that's a way better value. And I'll put this in perspective when you go to Plaza at downtown. You go to Pop Up Pizza, they got $5 deep dish slices and Budweiser's, and I can get two slices and two Buds for about $17. Bucks. Um, so, much better value downtown, and actually, the pizza is even better. I mean, a lot better. But it's just what I was doing. Uh, I meant to go to In N Out on the promenade and didn't do that. But anyway, so let's see. Played some more. George made it down to Harris by this point. Uh, I'm sure Byron was there. Yeah, I think Byron was there at that point. Um, I had one quick session, one quick roll, and Sam had a good roll where I only played a few hands. It was like up like 45 bucks and, and pulled it. At that point, uh, Bird Dog gets in from the end and has like a nice 30 roll. So some of the theme of my trip was missing all the good rolls. Uh, not being around for some of the good roles. Hearing about them later in the chat. Hearing about them at other places later in the chat. That's how it goes sometimes. Didn't catch a good one. 
um, didn't participate myself in a good one. So anyway, um, let's see. So back to Harris. I had another three hundred dollar buy in. Lost that. I mean, just super quick. Like I'm barely getting any hits. Just getting creamed. Quick seven outs. Super fast rolls, including my own. From the end, another one sixty in. Lost that PSO. So I got annihilated that day. Five hundred. 250, 300, so that's 800, that's 950, and another 160. I'm down like a, like 1,200 or something for the first day, just getting just crushed. Um, the next day, um, I called it real early, 7.30, I think I'm back in the room. I mean, I was at Bellagio at like 6 a.m., so, you know... Not much nightlife. Everybody else was going to Luxor, and everybody's like having a good time and making some good rolls. Maybe I'm missing out on those. Can't complain about that. That was my call. So anyway, the next day, uh, El Cortez meet up. Lots of fun. Meet a lot of cool people. Uh, Wesley from North Florida Dice. Uh, Quack Shooter's there. I didn't really get a word with him, but I noticed he was there. Uh, Mel and Mar from Hawaii are there. Fuji's there. Of course, George is there. Mario, Byron, Bird Dog, G Dub, uh, Michael, um, Bird Dog's son is there. Uh, Mike with Dice is there. Guy I just met. Um, Ike's there. So many cool people. Um, I did not get on the table then. I'm still sort of licking my wounds. I played a little blackjack. After about 45 minutes, about five double deck shoes. I'm like up 16 bucks or something. Um, I won my first seven hands, so I was up a little bit, but then ended up kind of evening out. I played uh, my favorite game, uh, Double Diamonds. And uh, I like Double Diamond Deluxe, Triple Diamond Deluxe, Slot Machine, and El Cortez. Made a few bucks on that one. Made a few bucks in Mirage on that one. Uh, bought some dice in Mirage and El Cortez and Cosmo. Good deal on those for souvenir. Cancel dice. Cool story. Um, met uh, Mr. Nolan. I, I'm not sure of his exact title at the El Cortez. But we were hanging out at the back bar there for a little bit. And... He came over and told us a story about running the bingo club and some of the other places in Las Vegas from like 75 to 83 and uh, maybe even a little more modern times and a story about the penny shortage, which if you want to hear that in a much better version than I can tell, go to Spotify and go to... On the Corner of Main Street, which is a podcast from the Plaza, from Oscar's Steakhouse, Jonathan Jossel, the CEO, and uh, gosh, I can't remember her name. Um, really good podcast, lots of old Vegas stories, and even current up-to-date stuff. Uh, but Mr. Nolan has a segment on there, look that up, he tells some really cool old Vegas stories. And he stopped by the table... And told us some old stories, and that was really cool in the O Cortez. So, I didn't get in on the filming on that one. I'm looking forward to seeing that from Craps Hawaii. Um, let's see. Oh, that was the night we also went down to South Point and had a really nice dinner at Silverado in South Point. Um, that was put together by John Moss, maybe. Maybe it was G Dub. Uh, maybe it was Ike. I'm not sure who really put that all together. Maybe it was George. I'm not sure. Um, but they made a couple really nice presentations. Uh, nice presentation to George of a new layout, and uh, to Sam with for his thirty roll on LFC on Sunday T-shirt there, um, and just a really nice dinner. Really nice people. And honestly, it's really not that expensive. I had a prime rib, and with tip and every and a beer, it was like fifty bucks. So it was really, and it was like thick and big. I really enjoyed that. 
Uh, pretty much called it a night then. It was about 10.30. Um, I literally go downstairs in the Flamingo, pretty packed. I just look into putting some money in a machine and relax and have a beer. 20 bucks in, playing quarters, no drink. Uh, 30 bucks over at the bar, video poker. No attention, so I pretty much got that 30 bucks out of there. Went over to Bubble Craps because I figured maybe I'd get a little better service over there. 30 bucks in there. Literally three rolls of the dice and I'm out 30 bucks. No drink service. So I go back to a different bar and just I just want to buy a drink and I don't even want to try to play and get a drink. $26 for a fireball shot and a Newcastle beer. So I'm now at like $96 for a shot and a beer. And that will become important later because the next day we get up and go to El Cortez, or sorry, go to Ellis Islands. And uh, first in the morning I went downtown and I was thinking about going to Circa and trying out one of their restaurants. I should have done that. I instead elected to go over to Main Street Station and have the buffet, which I really liked before. But I will say that it's up to $19 without the Players Club card. I should have used that and got like a dollar off. But honestly, it's not that great. And part of it was closed. And it was not like bad service. If you go in the morning and you can get a couple coffees instead of paying $6 for a coffee. But I wish I would have gone where Will Smith and some of the other guys had gone or some restaurant, I forget the name, it was right across from El Cortez. I looked it up while I was sitting there and I was like, oh man, that place looks way better than what I mean. So joined up with everybody. Um, I guess that was back on El Cortez day. So I'm off a bit here. Oh yeah, so Ellis Island. I got to check out that day. So I leave my stuff at the bellhop. I've got an 11.30 p.m. flight, uh, meeting up at noon at Ellis Island. I'm over there at maybe 10 o'clock because that's when they start serving the prime ribs and stuff. I have um, steak and shrimp for like 15 bucks, delicious. So I put my name on the list, 10.30. I go over to the bar to sit down and have a beer, play video poker. Before I can get my Players Club card in the machine and get any money in the machine, there's already a topped off, no foam, pint, uh, dark beer sitting up for me. So last night at Flamingo, hour, 96 bucks, can't even get a drink. At Ellis Island, I can't even get money into a machine before they've got a drink in front of me, a topped off pint, not a 12 ounce Budweiser. So the service there is wonderful. Uh, had my steak, Ike showed up, people started showing up. Um, they got us on a $10 table. The other table's five bucks. They, I think they should have had us at five bucks, but it really doesn't matter. Played for a few hours. A lot of people showed up there. Um, Ting, Turtles. Of course, Byron was there. Uh, man, Will Smith was there. John, uh, Mario's there. Uh, good crowd, Bird Dog, of course. Um, Henry was there. And so we're all playing around. And it was tough going. There weren't many good rolls. Um, Sam had a nice 20 roll that I was more or less afraid to press on. So anyway, I had a $500 buy in on that. I figure I'll try to get back to work on that when I'm down like 1300 bucks or so at this point. 1400 bucks, 500 bucks. Honestly, lose it pretty quickly. And have to dig back into the bankroll, pull out another nine fifty, and I ended up at the end of the day cashing out with about seven hundred of that. So I left seven hundred bucks at Ellis Island. Um, I think Kevin said he was counting my rolls, and I had a, a sixteen, is what he said. It seemed like so much shorter. It seemed like a much shorter roll, but I know I set a six and made it with odds. Set a six, made it with odds. And then couldn't make a third point. Um, but he said he had me down at about 16. So I take his word for it. Thank you, Turtles, for counting those rolls. Um, really enjoyed playing with everybody. Got a few chips from like G-Dub. And I think maybe Ted gave me a chip, I think. And I know Byron did. Um, so lots of fun with everybody. 
great group, really excited to have made it out and played with everybody. I think I went home negative 1900 bucks on gambling. Um, you know, I only spent a few hundred bucks really on food and uh, souvenirs and stuff. Flight was cheap, flight was fine. Overnight flights, get home at like 5 a.m., get home by about 8 a.m. from Charlotte. Piece of cake when it comes to that. And of course, since I've been home, I've had some really nice rolls and I've had really nice tosses that are just stopping and doing pretty well. So I can't seem to do it at the casino. I can't seem to do it live. Of course, I've been shooting from the end and maybe they're a little bouncier. No excuses, but um, super really nice to meet everybody and super wonderful group. Cannot say enough about everybody that um, some folks I'd met and um, was, you know, just like we'd, you know, been longtime friends and really the same for the people that I hadn't met and met for the first time, uh, treated me just like we were longtime friends. And so I really felt at home and that was one of the greatest things, um, that you can experience is being in a group like that where everybody is just so great and, uh, coming from all over the world, coming from Canada and, and of course, coming all the way from Cyprus, George really put in the work to make it that far. And coming from California and Texas and all over. And of course, we missed our friends from Ireland and other places. But what a what a fantastic group! Hot Hawaii, of course, lots of folks in from Hawaii. Um, and the folks at Ellis Island and the folks at El Cortez treated us very well. Um, so of course, we're there to gamble and everything, but. The hospitality was really good, and I'll leave it at that. Many of you have seen my pictures and videos from before, and so I'll leave it at that, but lots and lots of fun. Cannot wait to be at the next one. Uh, cannot wait to get back to Vegas, just in general. Um, so thank you guys, and we'll talk to you over the chat and on the LFCs and the Skype. So thanks again, everybody.